three. I'm just about to wrap up. What are you listening to? You got to figure out what you're listening to. You know the two types of preachers? Really, yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. that two types. Yeah. Folks have a whole lot of preachers. They don't have two types. Two types. Y'all want to tell you the two types are? Yes. yes. They said, yes, sir, go right ahead. You're going to tell us a lot. No, I'm not. <laughs> come on, brother. You say, come on, brother Banks. I'm ready. I'm going to come. <laughs> one, of those, one of those kind is a sick preacher. Mm. Well, where, where, where you get that from? Okay, I, get, I got it from my Bible. Okay? Take me there, brother Banks. Okay, I sure will. <laughs> I want you to pay close attention now because we finna get on the water. Mm -hmm. A sick preacher, Jeremiah 23 and 21. I'm going to wait for you. Because in Acts out, I could go Jeremiah 23 and verse 1, but, but I'm going to go back there. Jeremiah 23 and 21. Now, I could, I'm, while y'all are digging, I'm going to give y'all a precursor to that. Because, see, what I learned is, while y'all turn there, I'm going to read Jer Jeremiah 23 and verse number 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, said the Lord. Therefore, thus saying the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, behold, look. Behold, I will visit on you the evil that you're doing, said the Lord. Now let's move down to verse number 23 and 21. I have sent thee, prophet. I have not sent. I have not sent thee, prophet. Yet they reign. I have not sent thee, prophet. Yet they reign. Have not. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesy. Now, that one is a win. <laughs> they went on their own. He just said, they went. They went. He didn't send them. He didn't send them. They went on their own. Did it. Was it there? <laughs> now, if, 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 if that's a, a win and they just went on their own, Without the word of God, what are they preaching? What are they teaching? Amen. See, it said in Jeremiah 23 and 1, it said there'd be false prophets. Amen. But if you ain't read your Bible, you don't know what a false prophet is. Amen. And they can tell you they are prophecies and all this other foolishness. And a deaconess and all this other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm not knocking nobody, but I can show them in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Y'all never invite me back. I said two kinds, right? Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a win, right? Can, can we find one that's sin? That was two kinds, win and sin. Oh. You either want your own or ain't God sent you one or two. Oh. I just showed you a win. Now, let's see if we can get a sent one. And, and see, I can, I, I can really give you some more scripture for that, for that wind stuff. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Y'all looking at me now like a cow out at a, looking at a new gate right now. Anyway, <laughs> you remember a few months ago, back in the summer, a guy named Creflo Dollar asked, asked his, his parishioners to okay. buy him a million dollar check. Yes, yeah. 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 In a private jet, yes. So he can, he can, he can, he can be flown from point A to point B on day money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, see, one thing about the million dollar jet, when you got a private jet, and I, I don't have one. Got to have a okay. mm -hmm. pilot. But you got to have a pilot waiting twenty four seven. So you ready to go? He ready. Right. You got to have a place to put that. You got to have, now if you got any sense, you're going to have mechanics to work on it. Mm -hmm. Now you ain't going to be able to work on it yourself. Mm -hmm. If you got some sense. And, most 
explains how a steward is or, or somebody only to serve you mm -hmm. a, a food, cocktail yes. or food yes. and yes. take care of your needs or something. Mm -hmm. So why buy a million dollar jet if you don't have a staff to run it? Right, mm -hmm. yes. So it can at least cost a million and one dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And they were trying to get him a jet. If I asked y'all to buy me, buy me a car out of out of Dollar General, y'all be looking at me funny. If I can buy a car out of Dollar General for what? Second one's a sin. When I'm, I'm here, bitch, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Romans 10 and 15. So I'm going back, back to my text here. Romans 10 and 15. How shall they preach except they be. What's that word? Sin. That's a question. See, I told you about the went one. Now here's the sent one. And see, my Bible said that how can they accept to be sent? It is written. It is written. That's scripture again. You remember back over, over, over in Matthew 4 when, when Jesus had gone to the wilderness back 40 days before they met, met the temple. Every time the temple tried to tempt him, he tempted, he gave him scripture. He said, it is written. Mm -hmm. I said, for it is written. Mm -hmm. See, two times he said, it is written. And one time he said, for it is written. He gave them scripture. When folks are combating you, you give them scripture. Yeah. You don't give them tongue. <laughs> you don't give them word. You give them scripture. And you know what they'll do? They'll leave you alone. Well, you know where they'll leave you alone? But that's like you crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't about speaking the tongue. They ain't what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But see, they won't know what the scripture is. What they talking about? <laughs> It'd be foreign to them. Cause they ain't heard it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. You can't take away from God's word. You gotta stay humble if you're gonna be a preacher. I'm not pat myself on the back, but I don't. I, 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 I just do it in the Bible. That's all. I mess up. Now, don't you come at me what I did, okay? Okay. <laughs> Some of y'all right now, you need to be repenting here no, just a little right bit. Right now. That's what they think. <laughs> but you don't know what my relationship is with my Lord and Savior. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So while you trying to figure out and y'all back to the past and know each other, I wonder what he did. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Amen. Amen. You deal with your own stuff you doing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I ain't asking That's you. Amen. Yes. Right. Right. You don't ask me. Okay, anyway. That's right. That's right. First thing mm -hmm. Amen. Finally, you cannot preach the man without preaching God's plan for man. So you can't preach God without preaching his plan. See, I can't preach me. I got to preach God. And when I stop preaching God, y'all tell me. I can't find that in my Bible. And I'll sit down and say thank you for pulling my coat. Oh, we call it pulling your coattail. I'll be thankful for pulling my coattail and getting me right. That's right. Yeah. But you make sure what you're telling me is right. That's right. right. Is right to be found in the Bible, not your opinion or something. Amen. I'm not gonna preach nothing but Christ and Him crucified. Amen. Two more scriptures. I'm gonna take my seat. Revelation 22, 18 and 19. I want y'all to get this now. I want y'all to help me. I want y'all to get this now. I need your help. 22, verses 18 and 19. And the Bible says, For I testify unto every man that hears the word of prophecy in this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if 
any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. He's going to pull your name. He's going to take your name out of the book of life. Now, I don't want that. You may want that. Mm. I don't want that. And in my Bible says, and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in his book. See, that's specific. Written in his book. Not your book. Not your black book. Not your diary. In the Bible. That makes it specific. Say amen if you can. Amen. amen. But I need to tell you, Matthew 24 says, and 23 says, there will be false prophets going to come. Yeah. It tells you. The Bible tells you that. So why, why should we expect anything different? Because the Bible is telling us what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you read your Bible. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and 24, for there shall arise false Christ was an S. Look at it. it. Didn't say false Christ. It says false Christ with an S. That means more than one. Amen. I ain't real smart, but you tell me if you don't see an S on Christ. Amen. It ain't a prophet. It ain't possession. It's Christ, which is more than one. So don't you be worried and think folks they'll come tell you some foolishness. Cut they off. Preacher, what are you preaching? What are you saying? And false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that if it were possible, they would deceive. What does that word deceive mean? They're gonna trick you. They're gonna fool you. Anybody remember a game called the shell game? They do it corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have three shells sitting on the table, put the ball underneath, and they switch it all around and pick out yeah. which one the ball was under. And you've never seen them pick out the right one. Mm -hmm. And you just want to put it down on the table and put the shell over top of it and never left the table. It's a trick to stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people are getting awful tricky with God's word. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't believe it? Keep watching TV. Keep on listening. There is a commercial on TV that says, what's in your wallet? Mm -hmm. well, my question to you is, what's being preached from your pulpit? Yes. And if the word of God ain't what's being preached, guess what? You need to find you another preacher. Mm -hmm. Or another place to go worship. But I'm just going to tell you this. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all's prayers. I appreciate y'all's encouragement. And I appreciate y'all studying along with me and allowing me to study and impart things to you. And like I said, folks, I'm a daily work in progress. I ain't no better. And I'm prayerful. I ain't no worse. <laughs> but I know I ain't no better. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying I ain't no worse. I didn't say ain't again. So y'all go ahead and jot that ain't down again. But I want to be sent. I want to have a sent message, not a went message. Amen. If you if you're here today, and what I said to you sounded strange, sounded funny, because you didn't see me. Choir. And you didn't see the drum. And, 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 and I'll have a long robe on with big claws hanging, mm -hmm. and big bones. Mm -hmm. Cover up from about, about, about the neighbor to my chest. Mm -hmm. And about $5,000. See, I got a story about that too. <laughs> it was a Methodist preacher that told one of the true story. If it's if a lie, he told me. Mm -hmm. He had to get his cross for $2,500. Now, if I got to get a $2,500 cross, I'm going to buy it myself. 
He told the story at his lady funeral and said the lady brought it when he came he was sitting in his garage and the lady came over to the church, which the church was next, next over to, to his house, and gave him $25,100 bills. Whoa. He said, you said last week that you need to get your $2,500 cross, and here it is. I don't want that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. if, if I got to have a cross hanging from here to there, Tell folks I'm a Christian, I don't need it. Amen. 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 If I got to have a sign on the back windshield of my car, I'm a Christian, come follow me to XYZ Church. Mm -hmm. you know, if I can't show you by how I act, mm -hmm. and you don't say something different about him and her, then it's something wrong with your Christ. Yeah. Amen. And something even more, more wrong with you. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand something. There's a plan for you in the Bible. If you have not obeyed the gospel, you've heard a word. I tried to make it simple word. Y'all said the long word, but it was simple. <laughs> Do you believe what you heard? See, if you don't believe it, then we can stop right there. I mean, you you got to be taught some more. But you ain't got to know everything in the Bible to be baptized, though. Amen. So you ain't got to know from the start. To the finish, just have a question and want to learn more. There is water back there. If not, I'll wait till it fills up. Amen. I know what to say to get you up out of the water. I know the question to ask you. There's somebody here to ask you the right questions. Are you willing to repent? All repenting is to change your direction, go on another way, stop going for you to do. Are you willing to confess Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Are you willing to confess him as the Son of God? And now you're willing to be baptized for remission of sin. Go down. Not, not sprinkled. Not dipped. Go down. Baptize. Baptizal is a burial. But you go down, prostrate in the water. You lay down slack. And you come. And you come up a new creature. Old things have passed away, and all things are made near you. What did you say, Brother Banks? I, 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 I've already done that. I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a member of church. I've been a member of church a long time, Brother Banks. And, and I've had things happen in my life that I don't understand. Well, guess what? Everything that happens, you may not understand. Mm -hmm. But God knows. Yeah. James said, the fervent and affectionate prayer of the righteous man of Baden was James 5, 16. Sometimes you need folks to pray for you. Amen. First Thessalonians 5, 17 says, pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5, 25 says, brother, pray for us. <laughs> Sometimes you can't pray for yourself. Sometimes you need somebody else to pray because we make it off the prayer of the book. Amen. 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 And we don't even know anything about them praying. Yes, yeah, right. we talk about them like a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they pray for us every All night. Time. Amen. Yes. On many mm -hmm. knees. Mm -hmm. And we talk about them sons and like they got four paws in their tails. <laughs> <laughs> you feed them, preacher, feed them <laughs> I want to thank y'all. There are brothers that will pray for y'all. There are people that take the confession. And guess what? I didn't say you got to report. I said repent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different than report to repent. We don't know what you did. God knows. That's right. We don't need to know. Y'all are one of the best congregations in the world. <laughs> But you're not the best, you don't think you're the best. Amen. It's all about mindset. Amen. Yes. Yeah. But the question comes, what do you bring to the table to make this the best congregation in the world? Yes. Yeah. Because if you ain't bringing nothing, you don't need nothing. That was a song a long time ago. I think you have done nothing. Nothing from nothing to leave. Nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. You gotta have true. something. Yeah. But if you want to be with the Lord, you gotta bring something to the table. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. What are you Billy Preston. Billy Preston. Billy Preston. Billy Preston. I want to thank y'all for listening this morning. If you want to come down and do that, we can do that. If you want to come down and pray, we can do that. While we sing the song, we can come up the song of the church. Please sing. Oh, my freedom.